Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, yeah, on the last episode, not episode, but the last video that I did with you guys, I did a nice little MDT 2013, yes, 2013 for MDT has come out, the preview version, and uh, you know, there should be an annotation around here that you guys can click on and check that video out. But uh, on this video is the first boot. Yes, got to love those first boots. And uh, first boot is I'm going to show you guys how to configure it. So I got the deployment workbench. And I'm going to put this bad boy into my pin. Right? And let's go back to the desktop. So let's click it. First boot. See how it is. Now this is pretty strange. You're probably saying to yourself, oh, Bernardo, you lied to us. You installed 2012. It's not actually 2013. Well, if we go into the help and we go to the about, it looks like it's 6.2.50.14.0. That version is actually 2013. Don't know why um, Microsoft actually puts a kind of, I don't know, welcome screen with 2012, which is pretty weird. Uh, but uh, that's one of the weird things so we got the get started this is the get started right here it's basic expense basic stuff again it's they still have the 2012 information attached to 2013 stuff so the first thing you normally do is create a new deployment again uh, best practice is drop it into a partition I don't have a partition so I'm gonna leave everything on the C drive you're gonna hit next I'm gonna leave this as the default hit next next and this is really up to you if you guys really want to do this as if the image should be captured no I don't want that as if no nope. as if the computer backup sh nope I don't want none of this because all this is going to be automated so I don't really need it to prompt me uh, we hit next we hit next and it's going to start creating the folders in the C drive and create our deployment share which is completely done and as you can see right there it should pop up awesome and, and that's it guys this is the first boot this is the first boot of uh, MDT 2013 I'm honest guys this is 2013 this is what I installed on the last video that I did with you guys as you can see 2013 6250.14.0 and let's compare it See, it's the same one. I don't know why Microsoft still has the documentation for 2012. That's probably a boo-boo. Again, it's in preview, and uh, they're still testing it out. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to start doing some more videos. Hopefully, another video that I'll probably do, I'm going uh, I'm gonna import Windows 8.1 preview and see how that works out. That would be pretty cool. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this first boot with me uh, leave any comments or concerns that you have at the bottom at the comment section please give me a thumbs up and i catch you guys later peace out